Now that the Azure AD app is registered with the necessary permissions, our project is created and our custom API is implemented, we can create the meeting apps first user experience. So let's start by installing a few dependencies that we're going to need to implement the user experience. So this includes installing the React components that are implemented with the Fluent UI released as part of the Microsoft Teams UI kit. And we're also going to use Lodash to simplify sorting of the data returned from our REST API. So from the command prompt, I'm going to add in a couple things. So you can see here we're using the app fluent UI dash or slash react teams. And I'm also using Lodash and then I'm installing the type declarations uh, for Lodash as well. Now, while these are installing, what I can now do is let's go over to our client for our app and let's go to our tab. So the stand up agenda tab TSX. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add the following uh, import statements that are going to use all of the for all of the um, uh, controls that we're going to use. So we have a bunch of other things that we're going to use that aren't previously defined, as well as things coming from the React Teams package, and then a couple additional things um, as well. These all add React controls from the Fluent UI library, the Microsoft Teams UI Kit library, and other utilities that we're using to implement the user experience. Now I'm going to add. A couple interfaces to our app right after these import statements but before the opening class uh, statement these are going to define a new object type for the stand-up meeting um, topic submissions the Microsoft Teams meeting is implemented as a tab using react hooks so I'm going to add a couple additional statements here to our tab where we see these other state values um, that are defined. These are going to go right before this first use effect. So we're going to use all of these things for like access token, the meeting ID, online meeting, etc. Now, notice this piece right here, this one uh, state declaration for the custom use teams hook. I need to add one more thing that I want to that I want it to pull out that's exposed and it's going to be called the theme string. We're going to save that. Now, when the state member in Teams changes, the default in this default project, so let's scroll down a little bit here. When in Teams changes, it fires off uh, a hook. And what that hook does is it's going to obtain the SSO token from Microsoft Teams. So on the success callback function within this hook, I want to do a couple different things here. I want to modify this code to set the current user ID, the current user's name, and the access token. So I'm going to do that by coming over here and just pasting those values in. Now when the state member context changes, so let's scroll down again. When the context changes, the default project contains a hook, as you can see right here, that runs to, um, that runs to set the entity ID of the tab. Now I'm going to update this to do a couple more things. I want it to go ahead and set the meeting ID and the frame context properties uh, as well for the meeting. The frame context is gonna be used to determine what the tab should show if the experience is in the pre or post meeting view, the meeting stage, or the meeting side panel. Now I need to add a new React hook that's gonna execute the when the meeting ID and the token, the access token state members are set. So in this hook, Let's go ahead and paste this in. So in this hook, you're going to call, or what we're doing here is we're going to create an authorization header and we're going to call our custom endpoint. So there's our custom endpoint, API stand-up agenda meeting details for the current meeting. And it's going to and, and get any previously saved stand-up topics that are submitted by the meeting organizer or the different meeting attendees. Now, before adding code to implement the user interface that will both display stand-up topics to discuss at the meeting and to support adding new topics, let's add a couple methods uh, to support saving the changes. So I'm gonna add a new method here after all these different React hooks called save stand-up topics. 
And this is gonna save things to our JSON data store. So we're gonna have an array of topics passed in, which you see right here, and they're gonna get submitted as an HTTP post to our stand-up topics endpoint, and we're passing in our meeting ID. I'm also gonna create an event handler uh, to take our new stand-up meetings, our, our new stand-up topic that's been submitted, and I'm gonna add it to the collection of stand-up topics and save them to the uh, the JSON database. So you can see here, here's a new stand-up topic that we've created. So it's got an ID, the presenters, the current uh, user, the title of the topic, and I'm also gonna set two more values that we'll, we're gonna deal with later. I'm gonna add it to the new topics collection, clear out the topic title property, which is gonna be bound in our UI, and then I'm gonna go save those changes. 